Hi, in this tutorial I just want to share with you how you can sign up on MathFame and the second phase of this tutorial is going to share with you how you can make use of MathFame invitation application to send an invitation email to your Gmail contact list or to anyone in your Gmail contact list now you've got two options here you can use any of these social media platform to sign in uh, that is pretty straightforward it's just two click and you're done um, if you don't want to do that you can register use the form on MathFame to register by clicking on uh, where it says register for an account today now for the purpose of this tutorial I'm gonna be going through uh, making use of the register for an account today so I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna launch the form that I need to fill and it's asking for the first name now this is just sample data you don't have to use it you need to use yours and uh, the next uh, is going to be last name let's say tester and we want the uh, you need to decide what you want your username to be I'm just going to call it uh, Google tester and you need to put in the password now to type in the password it will tell you whether it is very weak weak normal or strong um, in this case I'm going to be using a combination of letters and numbers so and uh, reconfirm that if it isn't correct you still get that red description that says that the password doesn't match but in this case it matches so I will put in the password oh sorry the email address and um, reconfirm the email address if it isn't correct or if they don't match then you will get that um, red uh, borderline to say that the email doesn't match so let's uh, retype what we've got at the top there Just, uh, and um, just click on the body real okay yeah there you go that matches now the primary link is what you would like to have at the end of the uh, the MathFame URL as to represent your uh, your link, uh, your profile link. So uh, I'm just going to put something like Google Test as well, and that's available. And you need to confirm your gender. Let's say male, and the birthday. You need to be 18 over to be able to sign up on MathFame just gonna select month and uh, let's look for somewhere around that 2000 as the age and you need to confirm this capture to say that you're not a robot and that is completed and hit and continue here on the bottom right and then on this page you just hit and continue again uh, now you've got the option to um, import or post your profile picture or your profile cover and uh, it, this is not very important so I'm not going to be filling this part right now I'm just going to proceed and click on submit uh, now it will bring you to this page where to say activate your account <coughs> an email has been sent uh, to complete your account creation you will need to activate it by verifying your email address so that means an email has been sent <coughs> into the google tester at mathfilm.co.uk so I'm gonna go in there right now to retrieve the activation details uh, let me refresh my inbox hopefully it's gone through yeah there we are this is an email from mathfilm and once I click on this now here uh, welcome on board we've got two options here to activate the account you I can click on this link it's pretty straightforward that we just activate the account automatically automatically or you can copy these activation code to uh, activate your account for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to be making use of this and um, yeah whenever you copy in there just make sure there are no spaces at the end at the beginning and at the end of it now let's go back into the activation page I'm gonna post this paste this and um, just want to confirm that there are no spaces at the end and not at the beginning as well and I'm gonna click on activate account now 
and there you go you get this green bar notification that says thank you your account is now activated you you may log in with your login details and um, if you go back into that email your login details will be there you have your username and then you're gonna have your password as well so we've got uh, to log in with those details and, and then can sign in now now um, you're welcome congratulations your registration account has been successful blah 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 now the next phase is how you can make use of the MathFame invitation app to invite your gmail contact list friends or to send an invitation email to your gmail contact list now you can do this look at this um, icon where your profile icon here when you click on these you will see invite friends uh, or on the bottom right corner here you will see click here to invite friends so you can click on any of the two options and that will take you to the MathFame invitation app and once you get here uh, you need to read the privacy policy to be sure that you want to make use of this application to organize your or to import your contact list from Google or your Gmail account now when you click on this it's going to open up on the new page and you can read through all the details and what it does uh, what is going to help you to do basically uh, once you're done with that and you agree you can just click on I agree now once you're done with that there you'll get an option that will say you have accepted and agreed to a uh, privacy policy if you do not want to want this you can revoke it so let's say I want to revoke it I can do that and you have to agree to this before you can proceed so um, let's agree for the purpose of this tutorial and I'm gonna choose Google icon there or the Gmail icon and you can see there are other three options here that you can use you can the resend email invite that is basically the scope that this application cover it helps you to resend invite after 24 uh, after 24 to 48 hours and uh, you can see your invite statistics it will show you those who you have sent an email to or invitation email to and those who have accepted it and um, those who have not accepted or click on the on the uh, on the link you sent to them in the in the email we're gonna go through that shortly but uh, let's proceed to import the contact I'm gonna click on connect and this will show me to import all the email addresses in my contact list and uh, as you can see you have selected contact 35 I'm gonna deselect all if you scroll down to the bottom you will see those who are already on MathFame already signed up and um, if they are your friend or not you can send you can add them as friend um, but um, for the purpose of this tutorial we're just gonna choose um, let's say two people see uh, da, 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 da. now at this point I want to make a determination as to who I want to send to you don't have to send to everybody you can just pick one or two people that you would like to send it to so I'm just gonna speak these two people and um, once um, that is done uh, you will see send invite at the top here select all deselect all or send invite I'm gonna send invite now now you can see invite sent successfully um, and every time that is done or you want to carry out that process again you need to agree to the privacy policy um, that means you need to read through one more time and then agree uh, the next thing and now if you go into the recent email invite you will not see anything there you will only be able to do that let's say after 24 to 48 hours um, let's go into the invite statistics as you can see uh, these are the two people that I've sent to out of the 35 uh, imported contact list now this will be the only two emails that can be seen by the uh, by Matthew administrator on the back end the people that you have not sent to will not be shown to them that is private to the user to you to the individual user so it shows here what information can we see here uh, clicked 
uh, that means these two people that you've sent to have they clicked on the link in that email no uh, have they registered no so um, that covers the entire scope of what you can use this application for to import your contact list select whoever you want to send an email to and possibly resend uh, the email to them if they have not received the invitation email maybe they deleted it along maybe the email went into the uh, spam folder and they have mistakenly deleted it and if you have sent an invitation via URL you'll be able to see the stats here but there is no information um, as regards to that at this point so uh, that covers the entire scope of these uh, math fame invitation app uh, thank you very much for watching and um, and thank you for the approval